Good afternoon and welcome to the Hot Performers here on Calkine TV. Today we're going to shed some light on the ASX listed company John's Lion Group and its shares. As an integrated building services company, John's Lion Group upgraded its revenue and earnings guidance for the financial year 2022. Guidance was lifted due to the current robust demand for the company's core activities. Let's have a look at the news in detail. Now, the Property Services Group's forecast revenue has been upgraded by $64.6 million to a whopping $867 million, which is an 8% rise on the earlier guidance of $802 million released in February. This represents a revenue growth of 52.5% year-over-year from financial year 21. And similarly, the group upgraded its EBITDA as well. The forecast was upped by $4.3 million to a large amount of $83 million. Then again, it is a 5.4% increase on February's guidance of $78.7 million. This represents a year-over-year -year growth in a bidder of 57.8%. The company said in an ASX release that the upgrade to the forecast of bidder also includes initial mobilization costs for the southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales flood work. Group CEO Scott Didier was upbeat about another upgrade to the company's forecast and he commented that their model has the flexibility and infrastructure to assist communities dealing with catastrophic events. John Lang has parted with southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales residents after the devastating weather events that have impacted those communities. According to the company, an increased frequency of massive weather events also played a role in boosting the returns to shareholders. According to Didier, the company is busy assessing the impact of recent extreme weather events on the business. Meanwhile, they have also stated that further guidance concerning financial year 2023 will be provided upon releasing the final 2022 results in late August. Now for a look at John's Lying's share price snapshot. In the opening session of the ASX today, shares were trading at 5.78, up 1.94%. The share price has risen over 38% in the past year, and then on a year-to-date basis, the shares are down nearly 35%. Over the past month, the stock has fallen as well 30%, although John Lang's five-year gains are set at over 362%. The company's 52-week high is $9.37, and its low stands at $3.98. After reacting positively during the opening session on the earnings guidance, John's Lang's share price tumbled during the afternoon session and was trading at about 5.53, down 2.47%. And that is a wrap on the hot performers. Do stay tuned for more on the Uncalkine TV. I'm Holly Shields, signing off.